everybody. We're back. Uh, so today is Thursday, April 2nd. Thursday, April 2nd. So what's new, Aubrey? Our beards have grown. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since we've seen you. Our beards are so long now. It only feels like an eternity. I am for certain a weirdo with a beardo now. First of all, to get to the photo of the day a few days ago, I asked you if you could figure out what the thousand piece puzzle was. Well, here is the answer. Okay, moving on. There you have it. So when we left off yesterday, I had read to you a document um, that Alexander Hamilton had written, and it was from the Constitutional Convention in New York, in which there were some pretty hot debates regarding um, the transition from the Articles of Confederation to an adoption of a new constitution. And I took a photograph of the document that I read to you and posted it to the website so that you can reference it um, if that would be helpful. Oh my gosh, I'm eating my beard. We'll try not to pay attention to that. And my mustache. Um, and it's not very tasty. There we go. So today I am going to read to you um, the position of someone referred to as Melactin Smith. Uh, he was referred to as Melactin Smith because, well, that's his name. Um, so on June 21st, 1788, Melactin Smith said that representatives should be a true picture of the people. They should understand their circumstances and their troubles. Therefore, the number of representatives should be so large that both rich and poor people will choose to be representatives. If the number of representatives is too small, the position will be too competitive. Ordinary people will not attempt to run for office. A middle class yeoman or farmer will never be chosen. So the government will fall into the hands of the few and the rich. This will be a government of oppression. The rich consider themselves above the common people entitled to more respect. They believe they have the right to get anything they want. All right, so what you will be tasked with is answering the question of what were Melactin Smith's, what, what was his position on representation and how people should be represented and by whom? I asked you the same question about Alexander Hamilton. So. Um, you can listen to the video, review the documents, and make a determination. I think you will see a stark difference between the ideas of these two men. And then tomorrow you're going to have to decide who you agree with more and tell us why, and we'll get into more details about that tomorrow, which again, there will be more changes. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.